Hello guys, this is Matt and I am very very excited to show you the best way to play PS2 games using PCSX2. Take note guys that this is just based on my preference and I do understand if you don't find this appealing at all. However, since I am all about the accuracy when it comes to the whole gameplay experience, I would really love to share this with you. So let's go. Normally when we emulate games on PCS X2, what we simply do is increase the resolution to 4K or greater. And it does look good, especially on 3D games such as Gran Turismo 4, as you can see here. But the raw resolution increase has its distracting flaws. Most notably, it further emphasizes the blurred textures, 2D sprites, and the low resolution UI. Take a look at the leaves and the trees above for example, and also the UI around this image. They seem detached from the decent looking 3D models of this game, and even worse, when you're running a sprite heavy game like Mega Man for example, even a simple times 2 resolution increase will introduce graphical artifacts such as these vertical lines, and it results in the image looking very pixelated and rough. Yes, it looks sharper, but the visuals seem basic and disconnected and quite unrefined, at least to my eyes. That is why I heavily recommend to use the CRT Royal Reshade. Look at how it translates the sprite work from before into a much smoother and cohesive visual experience. Take note that the export process plus the compression and resolution changes heavily distort the image you can see in this video. So this may seem heavily scanlined and discolored and quite distracting, but I assure you guys that in person, CRT Royale looks very subtle and pleasant to the eyes. And using this reshade allows the PS2 visuals to truly thrive in their intended display environment. Yes, it may be just a software illusion and far from a real CRT hardware, but for me, this is the closest visual simulation of a CRT display back in the day because it's not just simple scan lines added in front of the image but there are actually multiple effects being used to help sell this illusion of a CRT display. You have different interlacing modes, electron beam variables, different mask types, and different bloom simulation values. So, to install this reshade, just go to the first link I have listed in the description and download the reshade setup. Now, let's run that setup file, hit browse, and specify the main exe file of your PCS X2. Once you hit next, you'll see four API options for reshade to be applied to. For this, I would really recommend focusing on just the two bottom APIs, OpenGL and Vulkan. These two are the most accurate in translating effects from the native PS2 hardware. OpenGL is the most accurate out of all four, but it's also the most demanding. On the other hand, Vulkan is the second most accurate and also offers the best performance as of this moment. So if you're having a hard time to choose between the four, just go with Vulkan. For me personally, I'm using OpenGL so I will be picking OpenGL in this example. On the next screen, just click skip and in the effect packages selection screen, make sure to remove all selectable checks and leave the standard effects as the only box checked. Then simply hit next and you're finished. Now let's leave reshade for the moment and visit the second link I posted. This is the github page for our CRT Royale reshade pack. Don't be confused by the layout of this page guys, simply click the green button labeled code and download the zip file. Next, simply extract the files using WinZip or any file archiver tool and open its contents in one window. Without closing this window, go to your PCS X2 installation folder using another window and enter the reshade shaders folder. In the previous CRT Royale window, simply rename its own reshade shaders folder with a different name. In this case, I'm going to call it CRT Royale. Then, simply drag that newly renamed folder inside your PCS X2's Reshade Shaders folder. Now, let's open PCS X2 and run any game you want. I'ma try Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. 
Once you're in the game, press the home key to display the reshade menu and select skip tutorial. Next, we need to go to the settings tab. In here, we will be adding both the shaders and texture effects of the CRT Real reshade pack we absorbed just a minute ago. So let's click on the plus sign for shaders. Then we will go inside the reshade shaders folder, enter the CRT Real folder, and select the shaders folder. Now do the same for the texture effects folder. Once you're done, go back to the home screen and click on Reload at the very bottom of the menu. This will now connect the appended folders which will display our CRT Royale reshade effect. We can now toggle its checkbox and as an added bonus, you can choose to enable D-Band as well. This will improve the transition of colors and helps reduce the color bending if that distracts you. But it all depends on you. Next, let's go down to the CRT Real Detailed section and look for the colors and effects group. In here, we will make sure that LCD and CRT gamma levels are both equal so that the image won't be darkened compared to its native presentation. In this case, I will be increasing LCD gamma to 2.5. Take note guys that reducing CRT gamma to 2.2 will also work as well as long as both of these values are equal. One final thing to note guys, this CRT reshade looks best on low resolutions. I repeat, low resolutions, so totally opposite of 4K. If you want pure accuracy, simply press F9 to run your games natively using software mode and you're good to go. This is really important because some effects are not present when native resolution is changed, like this beautiful bloom effect in Tekken 5 for example. However, not only is this demanding on your CPU, but the image may look heavily aliased, blurry, and shimmery by today's standards. For me personally, I prefer playing using times 2 resolution as it is the best compromise in resolving the distracting aliasing and it gives a noticeable definition to the image, but it still maintains that soft look that the PS2 always looks best at. You can go times 3 if you want, but that is the highest I could recommend if you want to use this shader. A sharp looking image just does not mesh well with CRT Royale. So let's take a look at some games. being knocked out, but he managed to buy himself some time. There's just a bit of swelling near his right eye. This could be a bad indication of things to come for Juan Manuel Marquez. Nice move and good follow-up. A very nice shot. Oh, sends him to the mat. Let's see if he can get up from that one. So that's all for me guys. I hope this guide helps you out. Please do share your experience with this reshade down in the comment section. PCS X2 has come a long way now and its recent updates are just mind-blowing to me. If you'd like to know how to set up PCS X2 from scratch, don't hesitate to tell me down in the comment section. Once again guys, thank you and take care. Bye-bye.